Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so in this video format, we're gonna be taking a look at some bugs of solo did. And today I found a high here done in an NFT marketplace. And let's take a look on what is the bug and what is the solution in there. So the bug states that transfer NFT succeeds even if no transfers is performed. Awesome. So this was found at the infinite NFT marketplace by 0x59a. 0x15, 0x Sanson, Anton, Hi, Pound No More, and Zitron. Let's take a look at the bug. If an NFT is sold that does not specify support for ERC721 and ERC1155, the sale will succeed. In doing so, the seller will receive the funds from the buyer, but the buyer will not receive NF any NFTs from the seller. This could happen in the following cases. A token that claims to be an ERC721 or 1155 compliant but fails to implement the support interface properly. An NFT that follows a standard other than ERC721 and 1155 and does not implement the interfaces. A malicious contract that is deployed to take advantage of this behavior. The user also submitted a proof of concept and gave the recommendation steps. If neither the ERC721 or the 1155 is supported, the function should revert. An alternative approach would be attempt a transfer from and check the balance before and after to ensure it succeeded. We also have a comment by the judge saying that a number of, FT, or of NFTs do not fully comply with the standards since the order is concealed and the tax is referred to it. Amazing. Let's take a look. I have the code here from before the bug was, was fixed. So let's take a look. Actually, this is the, is the evil NFT. Uh, I think this is the, okay, so this is the code before it was fixed so we can see the transfer nft functions and there's two if statement here statements here one is checking for the supports interface for the erc 721 which has the signature and the else if is checking for the erc 1155 to learn more about this, these interfaces and how, how they work, we recommend um, two pieces of EIPs. So the first one is the ERC-155 standard interface definition and detection. And the other one is the ERC-1155, which is also interestingly here. It is stating that smart contracts implementing the ERC-1155 standard must implement the ERC-155 support interface function and must return true whenever receiving this signature that we can also verify here for ERC-1155s. So basically, what we can see here is that if these ifs fail, so if I'm not compliant with neither of those, transfer will simply not happen. But in the workflow of the protocol, the, buy, the, the seller already received the money. So the buyer won't get nothing. Let's take a look on how that was mitigated. And I think we just need to search for the transfer NFTs. So there we go. So you can see that now what the function does is that it requires a specific interface, which is the ERC721. Before we only had a few ifs in here, and now we have a full requirement for the interface, and we're not even allow the interface of the 1155. That way, if there's any problems in the workflow, the call will simply revert and the bug would be fixed. So this is the bug for today. Let me know what you think about this format and see you guys.